Hello, welcome to NetApp KB TV. This video demonstrates how to perform takeover and give back in ONTAP 9 systems. Currently, we have logged in through the cluster management IP address. To begin with, log in through service processor IP address so that our session will be running until we complete the activity. To get the service processor IP address detail, execute the command sp show. So this is the IP address of node 1. Here node 1 is 4a and this is the IP address of node 2 that is 4b. Now let us log in using the SP IP address of node 1. Similarly, connect to node 2. Now there are two connections, one with node 1 and the other with node 2, SP IP address so that if any of this node reboots we still have the connection now this is an sp prompt to get into the cluster shell run the command similarly run system console on node 2 in case you want to reconfirm the node details you can run the command run local you see the prompt 4a so this is node 1 similarly you can run run local to get the details this is 4b and we consider this as node 2 Now to check if both the nodes are connected, execute the command storage failover show. Here the node 4a can be taken over by 4b and similarly 4b can be taken over by 4a. And this takeover possible state should be true. Now to check if all interfaces are at home, execute the command. We can see all, all are true and uh, we are good here. To initiate a takeover of the node to be taken over, execute the command as displayed on the screen. A takeover will be initiated. Once the pattern node reboots, a giveback will be automatically initiated. Do you want to continue? Click yes. We can check the progress in the partner node using the command. You can see it is in takeover mode. And node one is rebooting. So once the node one reboots and it is in it is waiting for the giveback state, we can run the command So 
you can see the node one has come up now to verify if the both the nodes are connected execute the command you can see both the nodes are connected and the takeover possible status is set to true we hope this video was helpful thank you for watching this video